Hello and welcome to the getting started video. In this video we're going to take a look how to create both documents and projects. So what's the difference between the two? Well a document really would be something that's relatively small, maybe just a cover letter or notes or something like that. Whereas a project is something you want to grow, so it would have uh, maybe character databases, research databases and so on. When you create a project, it will put all your files in one folder, keeping everything together. So makes it makes uh, backing up those files extremely easy. Now, if you do create a document, then decide you want it to be a project, that's easily done too. It can easily be converted into a project. So we're going to take a look at all of that now. Okay, so to open Papyrus, you simply double click on your desktop icon and it will open the start screen. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to ignore all the buttons here and explaining what this is and I'm going to concentrate on these two buttons, which is projects, creating a new project and creating a new text. And I'm going to start with creating a new text. If you're only looking to do something like, a, I, I don't know, a cover letter or something like that, you're probably, you might only want a single document rather than a project, which is why you would choose new text. Now there's a list of different templates. You could just create a blank document without using a template, but I will use a template. You can also change the settings to uh, US standard settings, so that this would be US letter size and so on. Because I'm in Australia, I'm going to stick to A4. So with that one selected, I'm going to go create new document from template. It will then create that document. And as soon as I press save, it will ask where I um, want to save the document. I'm just going to save it to the desktop for now. And I'm just going to call it new doc. Okay. So that when I close that, you can see that the new document is created there. But if you some, want something more elaborate, if you're writing a novel where you need research databases, character databases and so on, then you want a project. So I'm going to open the start screen again. And this time I'm going to go to new project. Again, it will give you a load of different um, templates. If you're not sure what you want, again, just choose something that looks familiar to you because again you can change page uh, sizes and formatting down the track just for your information I generally will use either A4 so it gives me a bigger um, page on the screen or 6x9 because 6x9 is good for both paperbacks and ebooks and then if you're working in this size you'll get an idea of how many pages your book's actually going to be you'll also see that this time it's giving you a path where it's going to save your project to. And the, the default directory is always, always the Papyrus Authors um, document directory, which is in Documents, which is in my case on the X drive in OneDrive. So I'm going to call this uh, New Book. And I'm going to choose 6 by 9 And I'm going to go Create Project. And that's created the project. I'm just going to pause for a moment now so that I can open the folder too. Okay, so all I've done is opened up the directory we just created alongside the project. And what you can see here is all there is in the directory at the moment is the new book pap file, which is the main document itself, and the project file. But as soon as I start activating things, more will appear in this directory. So for instance, if I wanted to turn on the research database, which could be done either from this icon or through the authors tab, and I can go to my research, it'll ask me if I want to create a research database. I'll go yes. And you'll see one appear here. Okay, so now it's being stored in the same directory. Your research is stored in the same directory as your main document and your project file. If I go back to the main document and press save, you can see it's also now created another directory, which is the backups, the incremental backups of the main document again. 
Also, if I turn on the character database, which can be done from this icon, or again, uh, from the authors tab, and I turn that on, you can see it's placed a the my characters database in the same directory. So now everything relating to your project is in one easy to find directory and it's all stored together. So let's say um, you did create a document but you wish you would have actually created a project. Well, that's easily achieved as well, which I'll show you now. So I'm just gonna close these and I'm gonna open the new document that we created a few moments ago. And again, you would just go up to author and you would go to my project and you would go convert to project so i'm now going to click convert to project and again it's going to ask me where i want to save this uh, document to a project folder i'm going to keep it on the desktop for the moment and it will come up as new document but watch this as soon as i click convert to project this will disappear And there you can see it was replaced with a folder. So it's now a project in exactly the same way as the projects we just created. So as soon as you create your databases, your research databases, your character databases and backups, it will stay in this folder. Okay, so there's one more thing I think I'll do. So I'm back in the uh, start screen and I'm going to show you what a project looks like. Uh, that's been worked on for a while. So this is my work in progress. It's about 95,000 words. Um, so you can see what it looks like. You can navigate through using the navigator bars. Uh, you can fully propagate uh, timelines, um, fully propagate your research databases, your character databases with all your characters as well as locations, places and everything else. So... Um, they can become really large um, projects and they're all safely stored away in the one directory. Okay, so that was the getting started video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think you'll agree that uh, whether you're creating a, a single file or a project, Papyrus Author makes it extremely easy. Until next time, see you later.